Okay, so I got and I got a phone call and there's no pause button. You can either start and stop. So trawler fishing, there's the whole case of or chances of bycatch. So per scene fishing is here. I'm using um sonar where I'm gonna send a signal out that's gonna and the fish are gonna say, Hey, I know where that is, what that is. Ooh, I like that sound, or what is that sound? What's going on? And so I'm gonna make all the fish come to me, and then you can use a net like a trawler, or you can use um uh something else that could then come and pull up and catch all the fish at once. Okay, um, Okay, so the purse scene is when you, the purse scene is the, here, the fish where you come. So you use sonar um, to attract the fish and they all get in one area and then you pull up the fish with a big net, right? You have this net, they all come and then the boat can them, then come and pick it up. Next one, long line fishing. So it's exactly what it sounds like. You have a long line of fishing with a whole bunch of hooks with that are baited so they have bait on them to help attract the fish um the only problem is that they can also hook um sea turtles birds whales fish sharks dolphins other things that <laughs> are like curious or want the bait that's on it but that's not what you want so again this is another um issue of bycatch last drift net fishing um is what this is you have a net that net has a whole bunch of little hooks on it so it's not necessarily it's it's not baited hooks they just have little hooks that will catch the the fish by their gills so as you're pulling this this net along by your boat or it's staying out there the fish that are swimming by just get caught up in it so you can imagine that there could also be a lot of um a lot of bycatch happening there right this unwanted fish so solutions, solutions to managing um, fisheries. So what can we do? We recognize that we still have seafood and there's still we want, still want to eat the seafood. Um, so how can we do this in a way that makes it um, better, right? So the one, first thing, this one here, are fishing regulations. Right. So in essence, laws are things saying set catch limits. So there's actually a sign over in, in Greenbelt Lake near where I live where it says, um, you know, there's a by uh, a six catch limit. So once you've caught six fish from this lake, you have to stop. And there aren't like police who are monitoring. And as you leave counting your fish, it's really like a uh, um on your honor thing, but I can imagine that if a, if a police officer came, Greenbelt Police, and said, let me see your fish, and you had more, you would get in trouble. The next group are um, economic approach approaches. So these things sharply reduce or eliminate fishing subsidies. They charge fees for harvesting fish and shellfish from publicly owned safe shore waters. Certify sustainable fisheries. So they're going to say, um, if you aren't, if you have this um, aquaculture, you have this fishery, this place, this is where you can sell and sell. The fish from these places are where you can sell your fish, not from outside of it. In essence, that's what that is. Okay, the next set is protected areas. And so you establish no fishing areas, establish more marine protected areas, rely more on integrated coastal management. So um, in essence, it's like having the same sanctuary approach for wildlife, but in an aquatic setting. Next, consumer information, right? So as consumers, we have the power to say, I want to eat fish that has been harvested sustainably, and it, it should be 
give me that information, label it appropriately. And so now I'm buying from the places that are taking care of the fish or the environment in a, me in a manner that I agree with. And so the other people will end up losing money and hopefully change their ways. Up top here, this is um, bycatch. So this is ways that you can reduce um, bycatch. Right, use wide mesh nets to allow the escape of smaller fish. Net escape devices for seabirds and turtles, like we said. Um, ban throwing edible and marketable fish back into the sea. The next set is aquaculture. What can they do for um, solutions to make aquaculture? I can't spell better. Um, and the last one are how to control or solutions to um, non-native invasions. So one, you can kill the organisms in the ship ballast on water, so kill them before they even have the chance to come out. Filter organisms from ship ballast water and dump ballast water far at sea and replace with deep sea water so don't let them come all the way to shore with that water inside so the next one are the ecological services of rivers so this is just you know um, FYI FRQ things so they deliver nutrients in the sea to help coastal sustain coastal fisheries right so they start up at the mountains right and make their way down and at the end in the sea or the ocean or the river where they are it's nutrient rich areas okay and so this is the same idea nutrient rich um, silt that helps maintain deltas it gives organisms um, habitat right in the sediment they can um, burrow or lay eggs or different things in the sediment purify the water the rumbling through the rocks or down the rocks or little mini dams things like that renew and nourish wetlands provide habitats for wildlife which we talked about so how can you protect wild and scenic rivers in the United States so in 1968 there was a law an act established the National Wild and Scenic Rivers Act to protect rivers, river segments, and outstanding scenic, recreational, geological, wildlife, historical, cultural values. And so what they did is that they, they classified rivers into a three-tiered scheme. So you have wild rivers, and those, just what it sounds like, they're running wild. They're not accessible by trail, oh, maybe by trail, like by foot. Um, they're untamed. They're not able to be dammed. You can't widen them. You can't dredge them, so dredge means to um, dig up the sediment. Okay. Um, scenic rivers, rivers, they're free of dams, mostly undeveloped, accessible only by a few piece, places, but a great scenic value. So you can go to them on boat and say, oh, that's pretty, ooh, how great, things like that. And then finally you have recreational rivers which are just what they sound right sound like right um, rivers used mostly for recreational purposes and that is the end of part one for this chapter